hello guys in this quick tutorial I am gonna show you how to add shadows on your air unity scene so shadows makes the air experience more realistic but if you have noticed none of our previous tutorial has any shadow effect on the environment take our last tutorial as an example you can see that though we had placed the object on the ground the character doesn't seem realistic with the ground or the environment it seems a little bit awkward right so if we could use just a shadow effect here it could be much much better it will look more realistic than the current version so the trick here is that uh, we are going to use an invisible plane under our character and render a shadow on that particular plane so as the the plane we are using that is invisible so the user will not understand that we are using an external plane not the environmental plane right so to do that we need to customize the shader which will uh, make the plane transparent and also at the same time it could receive the shadows right so I personally I don't know anything about shader so I'm going to use the mobile air shadow that is uh, provided by unity air kit plugin so I am going to give you the link in the description box below and you can download that shader from their link and it's completely free uh, okay so drag and drop the shader file to your unity project now create a plane and place it on the ground level that means the same way where your ground plane is, is currently located okay great now create a new material and name it whatever you like I am gonna name it ground material after that I am gonna change the shader from a standard to mobile air shadow so I'm I can find it from this custom shader tab and mobile air shadow and drag and drop this material to the ground plane now make sure that your model allows to cast shadows you can find that control under the mesh render setting uh, sometimes it's also the skin mesh render like it's the same thing so I'm gonna turn both of the option on this casting shadow option in my model now finally we have to go to the uh, project quality setting and uh, we have to change the shadow distance so for me I am putting a lower value uh, that will give me a good shadow effect and you can also uh, increase the anti-aliasing effect to get rid of like some jiggy edges but uh, remember that it could be costly for mobile device so I am not, I'm not gonna do that uh, finally before building the game uh, this shadow seems a little bit dark to me so I'm gonna go to the directional light and in the shadow setting I'm gonna put the strength down to 0.243 something like that thank you guys for watching the video if you like the video then like share and subscribe to the channel and if you have any question feel free to comment below and i'll see you in the next tutorial